Hi friends, welcome to Sada Learning Hub. You are with me, Shada Shurao. Today's session, we are going to learn the most top Sowlet interview questions. These are the top 10 Sowlet interview questions in ID industry. The first one is, what is the URL rewriting? See here, what is the URL rewriting? You can apply some extra data on the end of the each URL that identifies the session and the server can associate it with the session identifier with the data it has stored about the session. For example, I am giving the http colon double slash uh, sadalearninghub.com slash file.html colon session id is equal to 12345. For example, I am giving this one. The session identifier is attached and a session id is 12345 which can be accessed at the web server to identify the clients. This is the URL rewriting. You can append some extra data onto the end of this end of the URL that identifies the session the and see if you see here this is the identify the session so this identify the session identifies that session identifier which the data it has to be stored about that session the next question is how to create a session in a servlet you would get http session object by calling the public method of get session of an http server request if you want to uh, get the session object for that we need to call the request dot request object dot get session it returns the http session object the request object means http request object dot get session it returns the http session object this is the way to create a session object in a servlet the next question is how to delete the session in the servlet when you are done with the user session data you have to several options to remove the uh, session in the servlet. The first one is remove a particular attribute. We can call the public void remove attribute string name method to delete the value of associated with the particular key. If you want to remove the particular key into the session, then we can use the remove of remove a particular attribute. You can use the method remove attribute method. That remove attribute method is associated with the request request object delete the whole session you can call public void invalidate method the invalidate method is to discard the an entire session setting a session timeout you can call public void set max active interval of it takes the integer to set the timeout of a session individually or if you are if you want to delete the session, this is the another way lock the user out. The server has supported servlets 2.4. You can call the logout to log the client out of the web server and invalidate all the sessions belongs to all the users. There is a different ways to delete the sessions into the servlet. The first way is removing the session from the particular attribute by calling the remove attribute method. The second way is delete the whole session by calling the invalidate method the invalidate method is to remove the whole session from the servlet or if we can set the max age set max inactive interval you can set that one it is also deletes the uh, whole session next i am going to discuss the next question is how to update an attribute in the session in servlet there is a one method is available to update an attribute in the session the attribute is set attribute method the set attribute method it takes a name and the value pair of an http session object binds an object to this session using the name specified uh, and can be used to update an attribute of the session if you want to update an attribute just we can call the set attribute method the set attribute method takes the two parameters the first one is name and the second one is value it can be uh, it can be bounded with the session object uh, we can call the session object session dot set attribute automatically it going to update an attribute of a particular session the next question is how to set a session timeout in the servlet if you want to set the timeout in the servlet we can call the set max inactive interval method the set 
max inactive interval method is used to uh, is used to set the session timeout of the servlet this method it is bounded with the http session object we can call this method by calling http session object dot set max inactive interval of what a time it is takes the integer parameter automatically uh, it is going to be the timeout for example set max inactive interval of uh, integer value of an http session object specifies the time in seconds between a client request before the servlet container will be invalidate the session the next question is how to set auto page refresh in the servlet if you want to set the auto refresh if you for example if you see a trade uh, market website it is going automatic refresh if you want to set the automatic refresh uh, the simplest way of refreshing a web page is using a method called set init header method of a response object if you want if you are setting the set init uh, set init header method it automatically refresh the page in a particular time interval particular time interval the next question is what is the internationalization the internationalization means this means enabling a website to provide a different versions of the content translated into the visitors language or a nationality for example if you want to uh, show you your website in telugu we can use the or if you want to show your website in hindi or if you want to show in your website in spanish just we can use it the internationalization it going to supports to show your um, website into your particular region and particular nationality the next question is what is the localization then this means uh, adding a resources to a website to adopt it to a particular geographical or cultural region of an example hindi translation to a website if you want to say it if you want to show your website in the uh, if you want to show your website in a particular region la regional languages we can show we can use it the uh, the regional languages this may th that is called localization this means adding the resources to a website to adopt uh, to it a particular geographical or cultural regions for example hindi telugu something spanish like the like that translations to your website the next question is what is the locale this is a particular this is the particular cultural or geographical regions it is usually re referred to an a language symbol followed by the country symbol which is separated by an underscore for example i am if you show en underscore us represents a english locale for us like that it represents the what uh, what re uh, re religion what the uh, we can use uh, which language it can be show like that for example this is a particular culture of a geographical regions it is usually referred to as in a language language symbols followed by an a country symbols which is separated with the underscore for example if you go with the en underscore us means in us contains its language it is followed by the english the next question is how to detect the locale in the servlets now if you want to detect the locale in the servlets just we can call the get locale method the get locale method is bounded with the http servlet request if you call the http servlet uh, http servlet request dot get locale it returns the locale object we can find it easily locale which locale uh, which is the particular culture or geographical region uh, we are getting from the request it is easy to do, find it now if you want to detect the locale of the servlet just we can call http servlet request dot get locale it re it re returns the locale object thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel sadot learning hub because we have many session that would help you to develop our skills and i will be back soon till then you take care bye bye